Hello everyone, I just wanted to get on here and give you guys an update of my gastritis situation. Uh, after being diagnosed with gastritis two months ago, um, I've definitely made a lot of changes and I've done a lot of things to try to heal myself and I fully understand that it took a very long time to get this bad. Uh, the first symptoms came on uh, two years, over two years before I was diagnosed. And the basically, I started going to the doctor about 20 months before I was diagnosed about it. And um, yeah, it took, it took that long. And uh, multiple ER visits and uh, mo multiple, uh, you know, urgent cares. Uh, two separate, like I went to the urgent care two times and I went to the ER three times. So yeah, that's, and then I saw multiple doctors in between all of that. But anyways, there, that's a whole other, that's a whole other story. But after finally getting a diagnosis for my situation, I did follow the doctor's orders, uh, immediately after being diagnosed and his orders exactly were to take pantoprazole uh, once a day for the next three months and then check back in with him. And to be honest, like, I guess I, I didn't do it for the whole three months, but anyway, so I immediately started taking this medication thinking that it would hopefully be like this magical fix. After two weeks, I did have a video appointment with my doctor where I expressed to him that I wasn't feeling any better, even though I had started taking the medication that he said would fix the gastritis and I'd taking it, been taking it consistently. It wasn't improving my symptoms at all. And I, um, he said, well, there's other things that we can do. Basically he pr then prescribed me another medication that I would then take four times a day that was supposed to, according to him, coat my stomach and uh, basically protect my stomach from getting inflamed or getting more irritated. And he said, and then there's diet changes you can make. Um, you know, we can eliminate coffee and we can eliminate alcohol. And he's like, everything else is pretty fine, but he's like, those are the two things that really do irritate it. And then I broke it to him that I had previously eliminated alcohol uh, even before I was diagnosed. And since being diagnosed, I had eliminated coffee as well. And I wasn't feeling any better. And he said, oh, well, give it time, give it time. I did express to him that I was starting to now have a bit of like acid reflux, which is not a symptom that I had dealt with before, where basically I would get burning up here in my chest and um, in the back of my throat. That is not a symptom I had before I started taking the medications. So at this point, basically now I am taking a medication four times a day with a full glass of water every time I take it. I can't pronounce the medication. I will put it on the screen here because I did just look it up, try to sound it out. I'm just gonna butcher it. So I will put it on the screen here. So I was taking that medication four times a day. I was taking the proton pump inhibitor once a day. And to be honest, I was progressively feeling worse. I gave it another two weeks because I read that the proton pump inhibitor, I may not feel a difference until it's like fully into my system, I guess. After two more weeks, so four weeks on the proton pump inhibitor, two weeks on uh, whatever this other one is, I was feeling worse. I had made a bunch of changes in my lifestyle and what I was eating, and I would think that just those changes would make somewhat of a difference, and it, it really hadn't. I made the choice to stop taking the proton pump inhibitor because everything I've ever read about proton pump inhibitors is that they're really bad for you and basically make it hard for your body to digest food and absorb nutrients, which is a problem when you have gastritis, you, it's hard to absorb nutrients already. I decided to stop taking it and tried to figure out if maybe just changing my diet and my lifestyle would help me. And that is that is what I did at that point. And I did continue to take the other medication four times a day until about a week after 
uh, I stopped taking the proton pump inhibitor. I noticed that my chest right here felt really heavy and just tight all the time. Like even just like on the outside and I was having trouble breathing. Because I'm not big on pharmaceuticals, I always have a tendency to look up side effects of medication to try to figure out if it's better to take it and hope that I feel better or uh, and hope I don't have too many side effects or if the side of the possible side effects are worse. And so at that point is when I did Google the medication because I didn't want, basically I didn't want, I wanted the medication to work and I didn't want to take it and then be like, oh my God, I'm having that side effect that I read about. Three weeks into taking it that I did finally look up the side effects and uh, one of the side effects is trouble breathing and uh, basically like chest pressure. And so then I stopped taking that one. That was three weeks ago that I stopped taking uh, that second medication. And so I've been medication free for three weeks now. And uh, I did cut out all alcohol, all dairy, all coffee. And now I've been starting my morning with a nice mug of hot bone broth with ginger and sometimes turmeric. I try to be gentle on the amount of turmeric that I use uh, because a bunch of people have warned me that um, it can cause anemia and I've struggled with anemia in the past. I do do that in the morning and um, within about a week I started feeling better. Um, I did cut out basically everything like the only sweet that I have is dark chocolate and uh, part of that is because I'm trying to get my magnesium up so that's the only sweet that I have and it's not even sweet I think I should just get in the list of foods that I can eat or I do eat so that it like it because that list is way shorter and it's way smaller than the list of stuff that I'm avoiding on purpose Basically, any type of meat beef pork chicken um, in different forms you know the uh, bacon sausage here and there uh, I'm eating eggs uh, basically any cooked vegetable um, including some potatoes if it's like a baked potato uh, basically if there's no like not I'm not gonna eat mash right now because I'm not supposed to be having any dairy and there's usually dairy in that and no french fries because I'm not having any kind of vegetable oils I already tried to avoid vegetable oils in general and like when we do fry at home we actually fry um, in lard basically like you know, no french fries, just basically steamed vegetables or like a baked potato. I have consumed a little bit of butter, but not not much because the foods that I traditionally like to have butter on is you know, breads and, and things like that. So um, I haven't had that much butter. And then once I started feeling a little bit better, I did start trying to add in some fruits, um, basically testing them out to see how they made me feel. Um, one fruit, that I noticed right away that I really enjoy that does not irritate my stomach is watermelon. And then the other one is apples. I live on a diet of bone broth, ginger and turmeric and meats, steamed vegetables and a little bit of fruit and a little bit of dark chocolate. Uh, it's definitely, it's been an adjustment. I love going for a beer and pizza with my family. I absolutely love a black cup of coffee in the morning. And so it's it's been a really big lifestyle change. I did have to cut out sparkling water as well. I went from drinking coffee in the morning, sparkling water all day, and then once in a while with dinner, a beer, to only being able to drink bone broth and water. I would definitely attribute the majority of my improvement to the bone broth because it is providing so many nutrients and the things that I need to repair my stomach and also it's it's just delicious and it is it's really soothing to have a nice steaming cup of bone broth when you can't have coffee I guess like it's just relaxing for me. That's actually what's in this thermos is bone broth. I pretty much, I've been, I sip it all morning and then I start eating food about 10 a.m. 
Um, one thing I am avoiding that if you Google gastritis, they recommend you eat is whole grains. Um, I Googled it and I looked at what all the websites said to eat and what not to eat. And then I looked in to some more holistic doctors and what they recommend. And every single one of the holistic doctors uh, recommends you avoid gluten when you have gastritis. So that's, I decided to go that route. I, I have a tendency to kind of follow along with more of what like Dr. Barry and Dr. Berg uh, here on YouTube both say or what they think anyways um, because it just it seems way more logical than some of the mainstream dieting or the mainstream ways of eating are basically. I didn't think that not eating whole grains was going to be detrimental to healing my gastritis. If you're interested, I will link the bone broth that I'm drinking down below. It is really delicious. It's not the cheap watery bone broth you're, you're probably thinking of from the grocery store that you buy to cook with or whatever. It's actually like, it's like a thick full of like collagen and different things. It has like a lot of flavor. Uh, I will definitely, I'll link that in the, the description below so that you can find it. It's actually really good. Now, the last thing and the most important thing is, is the reduction of stress. So I guess the gastritis can be caused by too much stress and I'm making every effort that I can to reduce the amount of stress that I have in my life. I don't, I don't know if that's what caused it because a lot of the time I don't feel like I'm overly stressed out, but I could see with how much I have going on, you know, between, you know, running my trucking company, vehicle maintenance, my family, housework, cooking, shopping, running my YouTube channel, I, I can totally see how all of that could culminate in too much stress. So I am trying to calm down and just not worry about things so much. So after two months of making changes and trying different medications, I let you know where I'm at. Um, my energy is up, but it's not back to normal. Um, the pains that I was having basically in my rib cage, they've reduced. Um, they feel now more like stomach pains rather than before it just felt like a fullness. The way I was describing it to people is I felt like somebody had cut my abdomen open, taken a pool noodle that was cut to the length of my rib cage and stuffed it under my rib cage because my lungs like they felt like they were kind of constricted. I didn't want to take deep breaths because it would hurt. Felt like all kind of bloated and just like an immense amount of pain. So now there's still some pain there, but it doesn't feel like so much pressure and I can actually breathe now. I'm recovering, but something that took years to get to that point, I fully understand that I'm not gonna be 100% better in two months. I'm still continuing to make strides towards better health. And um, the one thing I really do need to add in is uh, getting more exercise that isn't just me working, because I tend to count that. Making some more time for some exercise and maybe getting some more time with my family that isn't you know, so rushed to try to de-stress a bit. I'm hoping that by December or January, I'll be back to normal and I'll feel good again. I fully understand that I, I'll never probably be able to go back to eating and drinking sparkling water the way that I was before. I'm hoping to at least go back to somewhat of a normal life and just at least not be so tired all the time because that was the main symptom was stomach pain and extreme fatigue. I don't want to feel like that anymore. If I have to limit what I eat, I have to limit what I eat. I would much rather feel good every day than drink a bunch of coffee or drink a bunch of sparkling water. There is a good chance that the coffee I'll be able to bring back into my life, not maybe as much or on an empty stomach, but I'm sure I'll be able to bring it back at some point. If you guys are interested, I will link my main channel somewhere in here. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.